Well, I began dancing when I was about 12 years old. I joined back in 1983 when uh, Fiesta Mexicana was celebrating their 50th anniversary, the Fiesta de Oro, and they were looking to have a, a big celebration that year, so they invited new dancers to come on. And we thought that me and my cousins thought this would be a really fun thing to do. And of course, our parents were very supportive. And we thought we would just learn a couple dances and dance that one fiesta and have great memories. But we all loved it so much that we continued dancing with the ballet. And most of us stayed on for about five or six years. And it's some of the best memories of my childhood. Well, one of my favorite dances is the dance from the state of Jalisco. Uh, from Guadalajara, Mexico, where mariachi music was born. Uh, the, the costume and the music and the dance that goes with that traditional music all um, was born there in Jalisco. And that's probably the music that most people would recognize and associate with Mexico. Uh, is that traditional mariachi music. So it was always the, the dance that we end our shows with, with uh, La Negra, Jarabe Tapatio, the Mexican hat dance, um, and they always get the crowd uh, clapping and joining in, and it's just a great spirit and energy. Yeah, each of the costumes is uh, has symbols in it that is connected to the region or the state of which it originated. So every region, every state in Mexico has its own particular style of music and dance and performance. Uh, there's the ballets, ballet folclóricos, which are the, um, the dances that are influenced from the mestizo race, the, the Spanish influence, uh, European influence, along with the indigenous influence. And then there's the danzas regionales, the regional dances that are more influenced by the indigenous population. Um, Latin America, Mexico has some of the largest indigenous populations. Um, and so a lot of the dances are, are reflective of those indigenous um, races as well. So uh, the Jalisco dress is uh, one of the more dramatic costumes. It has a lot of material. It's very heavy. It has uh, at least two full circles uh, in the skirt. And of course, those are there to help accentuate and elaborate the dance moves. So you can do a simple half turn, but by grabbing your skirt uh, from uh, one side of your body and taking it up over your shoulders and around the back of your body, uh, the skirt gives the illusion of a full turn when in reality your feet have only moved a half turn. Uh, but it takes a lot of core muscle and upper body strength to control that skirt and many, many hours of practice to, to make it look easy. Yeah, it, just for sheer color and vibrancy and to bring spirit and energy into the dance, uh, it, of course when it's moving all of those colors start blending and just provide that dramatic effect. Uh, there, there isn't really any rules associated with them. They can be in different sizes, different uh, shapes, but generally they are all around the bottom of the skirt um, so that it helps the lines uh, move and show movement. Uh, but you can have any color combination and, and that's one of the things that uh, was really special about being a dancer is you got to select your own color of dress and the different colors of ribbon that would complement it and it became your unique uh, performance outfit. The Veracruz costume is uh, from the state of Veracruz, which is on the Gulf Coast of Mexico, and it is a white uh, lace, very light and airy dress that um, shows the connection to that region. It's very hot and humid there, so, so the dress is is white and lacy and light and airy um, and it's very sophisticated with a fan and an apron and a shawl uh, showing the European influence um, and the dress from Chiapas, the black dress with the bright floral uh, embroidery that also shows the connection to the state of where it's originated from. 
uh, the state of Chiapas is in the southern region of Mexico, which is that more uh, jungle and cloud forest region. So the, the black color shows the density of the jungle, but the bright flowers show the bright floral and, and fauna. And the dresses are um, rep representing that, um, that jungle and, and tropical region. The dance reflects um, some of the animals of that region, so I can remember performing a dance where we were bird-like, so instead of um, the big grand gestures of the Jalisco skirt, we instead had little fluttering movements like of bird's feathers and you know, neck movements like a like bird. Um, so that shows them the mixture of those indigenous influences on the Chiapas region. Being involved in uh, Valle Folklorico from a young age helped me to develop my connection to my culture, to language, to the festivals, and um, with that deeper connection, I later in life studied Spanish and became fluent. Um, you know, my, my mother was born here, so it was her first language, but when going to school and and throughout life she mostly spoke English and then it wasn't spoken in my home when I was growing up so it was something that I had to regain and learn as a third generation and it has uh, had a huge impact on my life and my future career working in education and international education and traveling so it's it's really important for children to explore their culture and their roots and, and they never know where it might take them.